Greetings out there in YouTube land. And as always, I thank you for coming to my channel. From time to time, I post videos that I think is helpful for you guys. Because, I mean, the purpose of this channel is to give musicians the chords to the song. And also just pass on some information that might be helpful to the young, inspiring, up-and-coming musician. Because life, to me, is all about people passing on information that's useful for you and your life. And I've had... A lot of people that I appreciated throughout the years that passed on information to me that made me a better person and as well as a better musician. So, you know, that's basically what I try to do here, you know, because from time to time, if you guys have a question, just leave me a comment. If I can answer that question quickly in a few words, I do it. If I can, I'll post a video like this because, again, you know, it's about passing on information. You know, and I don't have a problem with doing these types of videos because uh, I have people when I do covers. Could you do this song for me? And unfortunately, can't do that anymore because this would be um, it would be unfair to the people that pay for the tabbing service. Have a tabbing service, two song, fifteen song, fifteen dollars a song, two song minimum. And I know there are people that don't know what they don't know. So you know, I try to every opportunity that I get to just explain that to people because. Most of the people get it. Say, okay, Morris, man, I totally understand. I had no idea that 50 to 100 people asked for the same thing that I'm asking for. You know, so therefore, I do understand now, you know, uh, if, I, if I personally want a song done and want to learn a song, I go through your tabbing service. You know, but videos, because those videos take me anywhere from an hour to two and a half hours a day. So if I get five people, that's over 10 hours, you know, in a day. I ain't got that kind of time. Nobody does, especially for free. But, you know, but videos like this take me like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You know, you got a question. If I need to elaborate on it, I'll post a video to help you guys. So keep that in mind because, again, I don't have a problem with doing that. I don't have a problem with doing the other thing. But, again, it would be unfair to the people that pay for the service that I do this same service for other people for free. So, again... You know, it's just best to explain things so people do not assume anything. You know, if you can eliminate the assumption, you do that. So, uh, from time to time, I get people that ask me about, <coughs> and I've had this question asked several times, you know, because you don't know what you don't know. And when you're new to this, it's a new experience, you know, because again, I'm a professional uh, musician, studio musician, you know, touring musician. So there are things that I do in the studio that the average person that's not a musician yet don't know. So I'm like, I don't have a problem with answering, you know, any question that I can. <clears throat> and one question I, I get a lot is, and I don't have one with me that has this, uh, I would have tape, duct tape along the sides here. And it's interesting because I had somebody say this. And it's like, it's funny when people don't know what they're talking about, but yet they want to bring nonsense that makes no sense. Well, you got that duct tape on your guitar, little ghetto. I'm like, well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been in the ghetto where I've seen a guy walk down the street with tape on his neck, you know, because we've been sold the marketing nonsense that you, you get caught. The first thing that you need in the guitar and miss me, got to look good. You know, you know got to have that name up there and it came from this country. But as you get older... You get wiser, and when you become a professional musician, that means nothing, you know, because it's not about what it looks like. It's not about whose name up there. It's not about where it came from. It's about, does it feel good to play? And then, does it sound good? You know, first and foremost, is it feels good to play, because if it don't sound great, you can fix that in the mix. But, you know, if it doesn't feel good, you don't want to play it, you know. And, again, a studio musician... I'm not being rated on what my guitar looks like. You know, we come in and we do our job, give them good performance and great sound, and we're done. But again, you know, when you're not a musician, you have a different pros uh, pr uh, perspective on things as far as where well, your guitar look all beat up, you know, because my guitar play 18 hours, 13, 14 hours a day. You know, do you play 14 hours a day? I don't think so. So therefore... I have to do things that's going to make me get through a 16-hour session as far as playing. It feels good because, again, the reason why I put the duct tape along there, because from time to time, wood is your guitar's worst enemy. You know, when the air is too dry or too moist, 
the, the, the wood on your guitar, the neck, it responds, you know. And, you know, if you've got a poorly made guitar or one that's been out in the elements and not been taken care of temperature wise, these metal frets, they start to because what happened is the, the wood literally shrinks. The moisture out of the neck shrinks, but the metal don't shrink. So the wood shrinks, the metal don't shrink and the, wet, the metal now is protruding past the wood. And as you plan. You know, it's ripping your fingers to shreds. Especially, again, if you're playing 18 hours a day, you don't want none of that. So, you know, from time to time, I would have to put tape here. And some people are like, well, just take it to a guitar tech and have them sand it down. Sometimes you don't have time for that. You're in another city, another country. So it's like, I can't wait. I got to do something today because I got a session tonight. You know, so uh, I think I might have been the first one that I've, I've ever done that. Because I'm like, sometimes I think outside the box. I give you a quick story within a story. Uh, this was years ago when video cameras first came out and some knucklehead had hit my car in the parking lot of my job and the car was not drivable. But, you know, I wanted to take it to the body shop and tell them what was going on. They was like, well, you don't have to tow it in because, you know, we got to see it. I said, you know what? I got a camcorder home. I took that camcorder out of videotape my car and the guy said, this is cool. He said, I would have never thought about this, but it worked. I see what you need to be done and this is your estimate you know so sometimes you got to create a situation that works for you you know and that's the same thing with the tape i think i was the first one that i ever seen do that and then i had a friend from uh, england he said oh we're doing this all over the place thanks to you mr morris man you know i'm like hey you gotta do what you gotta do i'm like i got him on the guy over this right quick because again this this metal was killing my hands so i taped the sides up and i taped it up with duct tape because duct tape sticks like crazy and then it's the surface of the duct tape that's smooth and I'm like this feels better actually than just having nothing on the neck so that's the reason why I would have tape along here because again I play 8 to 12 13 hours a day sometimes so I'm like uh gotta be comfortable you know so that's the reason why you know because there's some people that ask me so why is, what's up with that tape why is that tape there that's why that tape is there because sometimes that metal sticks out. Even sometimes when the metal doesn't stick out, that duct tape just feels good when you slam up and down the neck. And then here's another trick that, uh, you know, beginners don't know about as far as studio tricks. I think the, I'm not quite sure where this originated, but where I got it from was the great players, James Jamerson and Bob Bobby from the Motown stable of musicians. They did this. What you do is you cut off a piece of sponge and you stick it up under the bridge. And the reason why you stick it up under the bridge to get a certain, I guess it's like a dead tone, dead tone ring. And what I mean by that is when you put this under there, when you play your bass, it doesn't give you that additional ring. You know, the strings don't ring out. It just give you boom. And a great example of that tone and sound is in a, just my imagination by the temptation. Boom, 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 boom. Those notes are not ringing. They just one strike and you hear it and that's it. There's no after sound after you hit the strings. So that's why you sometimes would want to put tape there. Or should I say sponge? You know, and it's quite effective. It gives you a different tone. It gives you, I would say it gives you more bottom. You know, because you can kind of feel the, the resonance of the, of the note more with that sponge. So that's why we do this. You know, and this is that's the reason why we do this. So let me uh I put together a little list so I wouldn't forget. Tape on the neck, sponge on the bottom. Here's one that's pretty interesting that uh some people don't realize. I've been around all kind of musicians. Spiritual musicians, asshole musicians, dirty musicians, genius musicians, you know. And me personally. I don't believe in putting anything toxic in my body, you know. I was taught at an early age, take care of your body. It's going to pay dividends down the line. It's going to take care of you. Don't put anything that don't supposed to be in there like cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, you know, all that stuff. Never done none of that. You know, my nickname within the musical circle was, they're going to preach you, man. Because it's like, he don't drink, he don't smoke, and he don't do none of that stuff. And that's why. Because, again, it's, it's poison. If we all knew how magnificent the body is, I don't think that we would be so reckless with it. You know, because the reason why <clears throat> a lot of musicians, and I can't speak for all, only for some people that have shared this with me, 
that they take drugs and, and the, the drug of choice is cocaine now because it used to be heroin back in the 40s. This is again, this is what I've been told because I've never touched none of that stuff, none of that. And it's crap. I never touched none of that crap. But I've had people personally tell me, they say, man, when I take cocaine, I could stay up for three days. You know, I don't crash. I'm not tired. I'm not groggy. I'm not foggy. But here's the problem with that, because I'm like, there are days that I would like to be up for two days because I have so much to do. I get mad when I get sleepy and tired. I'm like, I'm not done, but I got to go lay down. And I would think that that would be kind of cool, you know, in some instances. But you pay for that dearly because when your body stays up that long, it puts a lot of strain on your heart at that given time. Or should I say you don't realize it? it don't feel like it. it's like, I don't feel tired or not. I might ache in the pain. Here. But the body has to shut down every, say about me, every eight hours because when it shuts down, that's during the time when everything is being cleansed, rejuvenized, you know, uh, when you are, when your body is healing, it's healing when you sleep. It's not healing when you're up and doing, going to work or doing that. So it's important that you need rest because I didn't understand this until about 10 years ago because I've been hearing this since I was in my teens where people say, uh, if you work nights, you know, meaning like 11 at night to 7 in the morning, you do that for 20 years, you didn't just shave 10 years off your life. I'm like, why? Now I know why. Because again, for, the, for 10, 15, 20 years, you've been up at night when your body should be resting and trying to heal. So therefore, it doesn't properly heal itself because you have not given it time to do that because you've been up 11 to 7 working. And we all got to make a living, you know, and sometimes you don't get the choice schedule that you want. Or sometimes you want this schedule because it works in your lifestyle. Maybe you're going to school or it's just extra money to work nice and it's not as stressful because all the big uh, rollers or heavy hitters are not there at, at two in the morning. They're asleep, you know, so it's less stressful work environment rise for most people because I've done it and I hated it. I did not like working nights. I'm like, you know, but you got to do what you got to do. But uh, that's the reason why some people tell me they, they take it because it's like, hey, I stay up and uh, I can get to, you know, all this work done because I'm up for 24 hours. But you're going to pay for it because you're putting stress on your heart. You, you, it, le it could lead to a heart attack, you know, it's just that serious, you know, but uh, to each his own. I'm, I'm like, I don't I don't want to put anything poison in my body. You know, I don't, you know, I tried. The only thing I've ever tried in my entire life was marijuana twice, <clears throat> first in high school and then at a party. And I didn't like it. You know, the second time it was so strong because back then everything was better than it is now. I assume. And uh, I, I, went, I, I, I got high, and then I went to bed. I woke up, I was high. I was like, oh, shit. You know, I'm like, I'm not liking this. You know, so I'm like, I'm not in my, okay, thank you, but no, thank you. You know, I tried it, but I'm like, no, that ain't for me. I shouldn't even try it, but I tried it, and it confirmed to me that that's not for me. I ain't trying to do that. But that's what I've been told why a lot of musicians do that, to stay up. You know, because the more you gig, the more money you make. And if you can stay up and do several sessions nonstop around the clock, you know, you can make a thousand dollars in a couple of days, you know, or in a day or two, you know. So it's like, hey, that's that's the, the lure, the temptation that you can stay up and do so much more, you know, but uh, it's not worth it. It was something else I went through. Oh, OK. And this kind of ties into with uh, as far as being comfortable playing your instrument in the studio. What most people don't know, and, and I understand they don't know, if you're not a musician and you've never been in a recording studio, you know nothing about that process, you don't know. You know, there's some people that think a five-minute song took five minutes to do. When sometimes a song can take a week, you know, depending on who's else coming in. You know, like, okay, I didn't spend 18 hours doing this. The next group of musicians come in out the string players. They got to lay their part. Then the, the vocalists come in and lay their part, and they usually do several vocal lays. It's called moting, you know, where they sing at least three times in unison to make it sound fat. And it's like we like with guitar solos. Sometimes you hear 
you don't think you don't know what you're hearing, but what you're hearing is not one guitar playing. You hear three going. You know, you might hear one doing an octave of one, and then you have another one doing some fills. And there's some people again that don't know what they don't know. And as I do covers, and I try to stay away from songs that have too many dominant parts. And I have people like, why didn't you play that other part? Because I'm playing this part. I can't play them both at the same time. You know, they're just things that, you know, people don't know. And it's like you have to explain it to them in order to, <clears throat> in most cases, get a song perfect. Because you don't want any errors in your recordings. You know, you say that for the live stuff because it's like, hey, I'm messing up here. And it's like, well, it's live. And you don't want to mess up live, but you definitely don't want to mess up recording wise because that's product. And you want to give your consumers good product instead of oops because every now and then i do hear mistakes in major multi platinum selling songs but it's like hey you know well nobody's perfect because i just did a song uh well, i'm not gonna get into that but uh i guess that's it again the reason why i tape on the on the guitars to uh, playability to make it easier to play you put the sponge down there to kind of uh stop the, the notes or the notes from ringing out after you hit the note uh, reason why a lot of musicians use just drugs because they want to stay up and just play for 12, 13 hours a day or two, three days straight or two days straight. Uh, it's definitely not good for your health. You know, it's not. It's not good for your health. Because, again, if, if we all understood how magnificent the body is, and it is magnificent, when you cut it, it, try to stay, it tries to heal itself. You know, uh, just a lot of things. I mean, one day I might do a video on that because... Uh, well, I know a little bit more about that than most people. I was given too many antibiotics in 2007. Changed my life. I almost died. Not once but twice as a result of that. And it took me a long time to recover, which I never did recover 100%. I'm about 70%. You know, there's some things that are still not right with my body. And from what, I to what I've been told, they said that might take 20 years to get out your system. So I got like eight more years to go, you know. And that's if I'm around in eight years, you know. So uh, you want to definitely take care of your body. You know, you definitely want to take care of your body. So I'm going to end it now, you know. But again, like I said, uh, when you guys have questions, leave me, you know, leave me a comment. And I try my best to answer them. If I can, I'll do a video because these only take about 15 minutes to do. But the covers take two and a half hours. And p other people pay me to do those covers for them because this is interesting. And then I'm going to leave you with this. Again, you don't know what you don't know. You know, and when people send me, oh, hey, could you do this song for me? I send them the link to direct them to how to get this done for you because this is for you. And it explains the tab service and what needs to be done. Don't hear from them. All. So it's like, OK, you can ask for it, but you don't want to pay for it. That's fine with me. You know, it's fine with me. But, you know, again, I have to explain this. And it's not that uh, most men trip. I'm not tripping. It's just being fair. Because, again, there's some people that say, hey, man, you ain't got to tell me twice because I wouldn't want to uh, spend two hours of my day doing something for you and you're not trying to compensate me, you know, because I got things to do in the course of my day. That's different. I got absolutely nothing to do and I just feel like doing this. But when you got stuff to do and you got to move your schedule around, you should be compensated for the services that you provide, you know. And, again, I just try to stress that because, again, the channel is getting bigger and I appreciate the subscriptions. So the more people that are coming on board, they're not abreast of how this works. And it's up to me to try to explain it to the best of my ability. So people will understand and still they're confused. So I'm not giving them that information because, again, you on the outside looking in, you don't know what's going on within the inner workings of this. And you just put out a suggestion there. But again, you're not sure how you go about getting something that you want. And that's how you get something that you want. You go through the tab and service, uh, you know, once you submit your two songs, they approve because they can't be done on guitar or they can't. Then you submit your, your $30 and then within a, I say, a 12 hour process, I have both of those songs ready for you. I'll send them to your email and some of them I will post on my channel because some you can't do the copyright issues. <clears throat> so until next time, take care and thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.